hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kristen if you're new here and today I'm gonna to be doing a what's in my diaper bag newborn edition so I have a almost one month old now he is here sleeping but I really wanted to do this video I almost did it in my last week of pregnancy because I was so excited and I already had it pre-packed but I'm glad I didn't because I have changed it so many times in the last few weeks and I think I finally have it where I want it so if you're interested in seeing what I keep in my diaper bag, please keep watching. This is the diaper bag that I'm using. It is the Mina Bay Kinney Backpack um, in vegan leather with the gold hardware. I am not going to go into too much specific details about this bag because I did do an unboxing a few weeks ago, so I'll link that down below if you want to see that. But we can just get right into it. We'll start with this front pocket here. It does have a magnetic closure. So first thing I'm pulling out, of course, is my phone. I also have my <laughs> per my roll-on perfume and a pen. And then on the key leash here, I have my keys. And last but not least, my wallet. Um, I was a little worried about putting my wallet in this pocket because it's, it's, it's essentially an open pocket with a magnetic closure. But it sits pretty low here and I noticed um, the only time that we leave the house right now is for doctor's appointments. So I need quick and easy access to my ID and my insurance card. So I just leave this in here. It sits pretty low so I'm not worried about safety. On this side of the bag here, I just have just a burp cloth for easy access. If we need it quickly, I have one on the outside of the bag. And then on this side of the bag, specifically because I am right-handed, I tend to pull the bag off this way. I wanted to keep my hand sanitizer there. So in this pocket here, I do have two hand sanitizer. Why do I have two in here? Anyway, I have this one. This is from Trader Joe's, that grapefruit and lemon one. And then I also have the Honest Coastal Surf one. Why do I have two? I don't know. And then in the back here, oh, I just have a hair clip just in case I forget my hair is in my face or Callie needs it. I have a hair clip hanging on that strap there. In the back here, this is a luggage sleeve if you open this pocket here, but I'm just using it as a pocket right now. And I have... <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> and you like it? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so in the back here, I just have his immunization cards. Like I said, the only time we really leave the house now is to go to the doctors and come home. So that's in there. And then this pocket here, there's nothing in it right now, but it's that neoprene lined pocket. I do put his um, bottles there when we are on the go. We open the flap here and zip it. This is kind of what the situation looks like right now. I'll give you an overview. Um, but the first thing up here is a swaddle or like a blanket. This right now is my favorite blanket. I swear I do laundry often because I just want to use this blanket. It is the stretchy bamboo fabric. It's an extra large swaddle from Caden Lane. If you've never heard of Caden Lane, go look at them. This fabric is so dreamy and I'm obsessed with this monster print. I bought so many things in this monster print, but I always carry some type of blanket or swaddle with us. Normally this will probably already be on his lap as we're leaving the house, but for the video purpose, I put it in bag. When we do go to the doctor, baby always has to all his clothes and his diaper and everything so having a blanket between seeing the nurse and seeing the doctor is really important for us so I always have a blanket in there the next thing I'm pulling out is of course my nursing cover I've used this so many times on the go this one's from Simca Rose I've showed it in so many of my videos but again that stretchy nice feeling I also use this for pumping and we use it when we do go to the store we just put it over his car seat so that he's completely covered the next huge thing that was blocking is his diaper changing kit so i originally bought this to stay in my car in my car caddy just in case we forgot the diaper bag or we needed diapers on the go but this has been really helpful at this stage where we go to the doctors so often that he is on the examination table and he has to take off his clothes and change his diaper and everything so i could just take this out of the bag hand it over to keanu and he has everything that he needs to take care of baby instead of having to take the whole bag onto the table so in this kit here i just have 
wet ones. This is if we were to change his diaper in public on like a public changing table. I can wipe down the changing table and then put down his changing mat. So this is the changing mat that came with the diaper changing kit from Mina Bay. It is neoprene. It is the envelope one. I talked about this in my unboxing video as well. I also have, of course, diapers and wipes in here. He's in size one already. And then wipes, I just have these sample packets that we got from our registry welcome boxes. This one's from Honest and this one's from Water Wipes. So I'm just trying to get rid of these. I have these in this kit here. Another vial of hand sanitizer. And then the Honest Sprayable Diaper Rash Cream as well. I talked about this in a bunch of my videos, but I bought this for use on the go. So we have yet to use it, but I have it in here. And the last thing in this kit is the Poop Scentsy Bags, just in case. So that is everything in his diaper changing kit. And then now I can give you a little overview of what the bag looks like without those things in there. So that's kind of what we're working with now. Um, this bag has so many pockets, it's really nice to stay organized. The first thing that I'm gonna be pulling out of the bag is kind of like my mommy pouch. Um, this is everything I think that I may want or need on the go. Um, I just have some hand cream in here, some deodorant, lip balm, another hand sanitizer god why do i have so many hand sanitizers some eye what is this eye drops tylenol a pen another roll-on <laughs> perfume and a tweezers so it's just a bunch of random things that i think i may want when we are on the go next thing is the frida baby two-in-one night light sound machine there's not a lot of videos on this not a lot of reviews so i really had to cross my fingers and just buy it and see if I liked it and I do I really enjoy this there's five different sounds to it we use it every single night to help him go to sleep and I think it's becoming one of my newborn essentials but it has three different settings for the light I don't know if you can see because it's daytime but one two three just gets brighter and then turns off and then it has I already say it has five sounds the strap here also comes off like this and you can reattach it on this side you can put it on your wrist you can put it on the bag you can put it on the car seat or your stroller and I really like this feature to it it also has a timer but I know there's so many different sound machines out there but I really wanted to try this one out and I love Frida baby so so far so good I really enjoy this I wanted to include it in the bag because uh, once we start taking longer trips out I want to have this on hand. I also have diapers and wipes in here as well, just in case we forget the diaper changing kit somewhere, it fell out of the bag or whatever it is. I do have diapers and wipes just in case. I also have an extra burp cloth in here in case the one on the outside gets soiled. We have one. And then in this big pocket here, I have extra clothes for the kids. So I have a pair of socks I have a short sleeve onesie for baby, a long sleeve onesie for baby, and a pair of underwear and shorts for my daughter. She is potty trained, but just in case accidents happen, I wanted to have a set in here for her as well. And then the last couple pockets in here, I have pacifier wipes. He does use pacifier when we are on the go, so just in case it fell or anything, I wanted to have this in the bag. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous things in one of these pockets. So it just has a bunch of sample things like Aquaphor, a boogie wipe, Desitin, um, this A&D as well. And then this is like my <laughs> makeshift uh, first aid kit. It has alcohol wipes, antibiotic ointment, q-tips to apply antibiotic ointment, <laughs> um, baby Benadryl, and band-aids. So just in case I wanted to have some little things and I also have snacks in here. So I just have two bars, one kind bar and one um, booby bar. This is the oatmeal chocolate chip one. I'm obsessed with these. I could eat these all day long. So I just wanted to make sure that I had snacks in the bag just in case I got hangry on the way and then in this upper pocket here i just have some pocket stashers so one is for cali one is for baby this one has this pacifier in it just an extra one um, i'm not using an, a traditional pacifier holder because i wanted something that wasn't like fabric wasn't leather wasn't like 
big and bulky and I thought to just put it in a pat in a pocket sasher and it works really well because I can sterilize this and oil it if I need to so this just has one but it can fit up to three and then this one is for Callie it just has a bunch of hair things in it, like hair clips bobby pins a mini claw clip and some rubber bands because her hair just drives me she has like this side part so it's always like in her eyes and I knew I wanted to make sure that I had some hair stuff in here for her just in case. In this back zipper pocket here I just have some extra masks. I've mentioned in my other videos that our mask mandate has been lifted but you still have to wear a mask when you go to the hospital or to the doctor's office so I just made sure I had some extra masks in this pocket for us just in case we forgot and in the big pocket in the back the laptop sleeve i have the neoprene wet bag that comes with the diaper changing kit and i'm using it for kind of like my postpartum needs so in here i just have some pads some panty liners some nursing pads these summer's eve cleansing cloths if i need them and some sensible scentsy bags if i need to dispose of anything on the go so this is kind of just my discreet postpartum bag if i need to just take this and go to the restroom i can do that and the last couple things in this bag are just some things for my three-year-old for my daughter um i just have some stickers some puffy stickers just in case we're at the doctor's and she's getting restless and whatever it is, I have some stickers to keep her busy and then a mini Play-Doh. And that is everything in my diaper bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining in some way. Um, if you find that I'm missing anything, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if there's anything else you wanna see from me video-wise, please leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will be evolving this bag over the year and as we gain confidence in taking him out of the house more. Um, so if you wanna see that, please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.